still with Fat Gang. It's your girl, Mickey checking in, guys. And today, 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 we are in the move and groove of our season four of celebrating young business owners. And I told you guys, we're switching it up a little bit this season. We have some women and men for this season. So it's going to be very, very lit. So make sure you guys stay tuned and stay locked in here. But today... Today, 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 we are joined with Miss O, and she is the owner of O Customs, and I'm not going to keep you guys. I'm going to hand it right over to her so she can tell you all about her and her business. Okay. Hey, everybody. My name is Oriel. I am the owner of O Customs, where I do custom cups, aka tumblers. Depends on what you want to call them, but I make them custom. I also do shirts and other resin items, such as coasters. I do baby uh, elephant announcements, things like that. If you don't see it, you could always ask. That's my slogan right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so I, I love that. Like you said, if you don't see it, ask and we can see what we can do. Yes, baby. <laughs> always, always. Yes. And so how long have you been in business? November will be when I officially... November would make two years I officially like registered my business because mm-hmm. um, at first I was just doing it as like crafting, relaxing. Yeah. But November um, of Corona, that's when I decided to um, actually make it a business. Okay. Um, that was my birthday gift to myself. Yes, I love that. <laughs> I love that because I, I use mine as like my me time too. It's like when I'm doing this, step away, leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, yes. yes, yes I, I love that. And so, like, you, you kind of touched on it a little bit. So you say it's kind of like your relaxation time. So is it sometimes that you find yourself just, I'm working on the order, but then you didn't make four, five, six things later, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> it's like, what do I do in between this? Or I'll, mm-hmm. like, I'll sometimes start a project and I'm like, you know, I really want to do this. And I might wait and like, I'll start it and it, it'll be sitting there for like five months. And then all of a sudden I go back to it. Or there's times where um, I really have an idea in my head. I have it in my head and I'm like, nah, you're not going to do that. So I do that a lot too. Or I'll start something. I had this, I'm like, I don't know why I'm working on the order. So I hate to leave my turner just for one cup. I don't know what that's about yeah. sometimes. So I'll start making stuff and I'll prep it and I'll leave it and so on. I have an order or right before a show and then I'll go on an epoxy. But sometimes I start something and I see I might not like it. And mm-hmm. I'll say, you know what? Off to the side. It, I need a break from it. Off to the mm-hmm. side. <laughs> then I come back and make something like I'm like, that's not where it started, but it comes out beautiful. Like I needed that break from it. But I I I, I love doing what I do. <laughs> Yes, I'm telling you, me too. Like I said, I can be working on the order and I'm like, oh, I got a little left. I got a little resin left. Okay, listen, let's start this. And before I knew it, I just sat there for four or five hours and I'm just like, whoo, that was peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever go down the rabbit hole? I just, because I want to know, do you ever go down the rabbit hole where you're looking for a font? <laughs> oh, I do that a lot. Or design, mm-hmm. like I might be looking for a certain picture. And I'm, I'm looking for it for a design or even a font. And I'll be next thing I know, it's like two hours later and I'm still there. And I'm like, no, no. And Etsy's my nemesis right there. Yep. <laughs> exactly. You're like, because it's a certain, it's a certain look or a certain feel you're looking for. And I will keep going until I find it. It's like, oh, yes, that's it. Then it's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wasted a whole night one time doing it. I was like, and it wasn't a waste. It was just like, don't go on Etsy either. Because if I go on Etsy, I know I could probably find it easier sometimes. But then next thing I know, I have this in my cart and that in my cart and this in my cart. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yep. And you're like, I came in here for one. It's like it's like the grocery store almost. Like, I came in here for one thing. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yes, man. I'm telling you, it, it, it really is. And so with your business, like, how do you handle, like, marketing and promoting for it? I know some people have, you know, some issues with that, especially when that's not, like, you know, what their nine to five necessarily was in. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm not used to marketing and advertising. I'm not really even a social media person. Like, even before that, like, I think I had, like, a one-year period 
when social media first started, I was okay. Mm-hmm. But I'm not really a social media person, even for my personal page. So I had to start coming out of my shell, trying to market on social media, making advertisements, which I don't do. <laughs> I'm the type of person, if you need help, I can say, hey, you should do this, this, and that. Mm-hmm. Tell it to me. I'm Like me telling myself to do it, it's a little bit harder because I'm like, hmm, I'm trying to think as a customer, but then I'm like, no, I'm the maker. So it makes it harder yeah. for me sometimes to, you know, mm-hmm. relate on that level. I'm like, well, I don't know what kind of commercial I want to see. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what they are asking us to do. But I've used um, Etsy. So I do have stuff on Etsy. I have my own website. So I try to pull more people to my website mm-hmm. um, because I have more stuff on there too. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, so I have more stuff on there. And then sometimes I run specials that I'm just not going to run on Etsy because it's their platform. Mm-hmm. But I've done Etsy ads, very confusing. Facebook, I've done Facebook, I think like twice. And Instagram, because they're kind of like the same. I've done that twice. I haven't like reached over to TikTok and as far as advertising, like paying for it to be advertised. But I have done that with uh, Facebook and Instagram and Etsy. And to me... I got clicks, but not really sales. And then some of it, I could, like you just sometimes you can't understand. It's like, okay, you're saying these people seen it, but nobody clicked, but you're saying people clicked. So Etsy is kind of one of those ones that's a little sketchy. So mm-hmm. for me, it wasn't worth it. So now what I'm doing more or less is just, you know, still trying to, I'm back basically at square one where I started when I first started, which yeah. was posting on Instagram, posting on TikTok. Every once in a while, Snapchat, Facebook sometimes. Um, and I go to pop-ups as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm handing out cards and things like that. So hopefully by the time, you know, this shows and everything like that, I'll have um, some of my brochures available as well. Because mm-hmm. that's the next step that I'm going to take. Because um, some businesses have asked me for that. Because I do business banners um and you know cups and stuff as well so some businesses have asked me like well do you have a brochure I'm like uh <laughs> but I will <laughs> let, me, so, let me get that for you <laughs> yeah right. and I mean I love that you kind of just touched on so many different things because it is like you say you have to find where your audience is and try to get on those platforms but now you got to learn those platforms and <laughs> and like we're not gonna talk about that whole process and then, like you said, everyone likes reels. And it's like, what do I put in a reel? Okay, what what do you want to see? What would catch my eye? But what would catch your, um, your eye might not catch everyone else's eye. So you're like, you know, it's, it's so much trial and error. Everything changes because trends change every day. <laughs> exactly. So. And, uh, one thing that's hard for me because um, – I know a lot of people like um, in the business, you know, that has small businesses and things like that. Everybody's like a niche, a niche, a niche, a niche, a niche. Mm -hmm. And a lot, like a lot of people or coaches have told me, you can't sell to everybody. You got to have an audience. You can't sell to everybody. And I keep telling them, I don't fit in a box. Okay. Like, (laughs) that's my thing. I'm creative. And that's important to me because when I make my items, especially like if someone wants something like completely custom made although I try to like you know when I make a design I try to repeat the same exact design Mm -hmm. but I want that piece to represent that that's like you know for me being yourself is important and I guess that goes back to like growing up and things like that I was able to be myself for the most part but being yourself is important so like if you like anime you want to wear anime shirts. You want to have anime cup. You don't want a Walmart cup because they don't have them. Right. You know what I mean? A lot of the basic stores don't represent what people like. If you like Star Wars, you might be able to find it, but it might not be what you want. Right. If you know, if you like makeup, you know what I mean? Like whatever it is that you like, that's why I love customizing so much. Mm-hmm. Like, because I don't fit in the box. Like people look at me and they're they expect me to be one way sometimes. Or to or they set me to like certain music or like certain, you know, things. And I, mm-hmm. when they find out what I like, they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, that's me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> no. And I, I mean, I love it. Because I've, I've gone to a pop-up and they, they tried to tell me, like, well, you sell clothes and you sell, you know, like roller trays and ashtrays. I said, yeah. They said, like, and you sell dominoes? I was like, yeah. 
And they were like, oh, we thought you were just clothes. I said, no. I said, and accessories. Accessories that can be anything. You know, right. I'm, like you said, I'm, I'm custom. It's whatever. You know, it's it's creative. And so you do, you have those individuals who like to try to put you, like you said, in certain categories. It's like, no, baby, I can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. so yeah and I mean I just I, I love that because like you said it's a representation of you even though it's it's custom that you're doing for someone else it's a representation of your creative skills and it's like you want to be able to express that in whatever way floats your boat at that time like <laughs> just honest <laughs> and I do and and usually what ends up happening is like I said if a customer tells me listen I like red I like purple you know I like that like they when usually when most people customize with me if they don't have a set thing because I've had people come to where they don't have something set in it like you know I just really want a nice but I like this this and this and that like okay mm-hmm. and I love when they give me creative rights because that's like <laughs> I'm like all right for real you give you giving me those keys you know what I'm saying <laughs> and then I just kind of go from there and work it in mm-hmm. um you know so like, and I, I show them beforehand. Sometimes they don't want to know beforehand. Mm-hmm. And those are the ones that I'd be nervous about. I'm like, who is going to be good? But I can't wait to see. <laughs> so, but, you know, one thing I do, customer service is very important to me. Yeah. Um, very, very important. So even sometimes when they say, I'm not, I, I ask them again, even though they, some of them tell me, I don't want to see it. I'm like, you sure? You know, I'll wait till I'm down in the process sometimes and I'll send them pictures or, you know, talk to them, make sure, you know, nothing's changed because sometimes they change their mind. You know, I was thinking. So I always try to communicate the best I can with them. But the end result is exactly what they want because I want them using their cups. I want, because I've heard, I hear this a lot. So it's okay. I want to use it. No, no. Use your cup. It's made to be used. Yes. And the more you have them to your liking that if you love it you're going to pick it up more you're going to drink more mm-hmm. and that's when that's when I tell them drink your effing water period that's okay you're gonna drink your water. <laughs> gonna be hydrated because you're going to be like this because I know <laughs> and I do this all the time because sometimes I just feel like I just want to look in my cup and hold it so I just be, that's when I start drinking mm-hmm. so whether I don't care what's it it could be water soda beverages <laughs> That's what I call it. I'm, that's no, that's an adult beverage. Don't touch it, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, like beverages, you know, you end up drinking so much more. Yeah. And because you like, it's like when you have on your favorite shirt or you put on your lipstick, you wearing it because you like it because it makes you feel good. And that's what, like, if I make you a shirt, I want you to feel good in it. If I make you a cup, I want you to feel good when you're rocking it. People be like, oh, where you get that cup from? Right, like. <laughs> It's mine. Thank you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so is that's that's almost everything. That's that's the real joy behind it is when my customers get it and the way they respond, mm-hmm. that's everything to me. Like <laughs> Yeah, that's that is. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, like you said, it's it's one of those things because me, I don't like water. But if I give me a nice glass or a tumbler or something to put it in. Like you said, I'm going to want to pick it up more because I actually like it, you know? So I'm now more inclined, like you said, to actually use it. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah I mean, to definitely. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Um, and I know you said you're um, going to be coming up to your two years. So congratulations on that. Because trust me, my two years uh, was in October. And I, I know, whew, I was like, I'm, you know, I made it. <laughs> Right. I did not tap out. I did okay. not tap out. Because <laughs> it, 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 it's those days. So and one thing I want to talk about, because we talked about some of the highs and everything like that. What helps you other than like seeing the gratification from like your customers? What helps you keep going on those days where it's like, it's been a couple of days. I haven't had a sale, but I got to keep my momentum. I got to still post. I have to still bring life to this business how how do you go on those days that is such a good question (laughs) it depends on the day to be honest Mm -hmm. you know I have my little community going and sometimes they help me they talk me through it my family of course 
Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes it's even I'll go on there like, oh, and I'll see a post and it helps remind me. You know what I mean? My kids, they're like, Mom, I just oh my they say such beautiful things sometimes, like they don't even know I'm down, but like they'll say something about something that's sitting there or whatever. And I'm just like, yeah, all right, I gotta, I gotta keep going. Like, I gotta keep going. You know, um, I don't want to go back to my job, although I love them, um, because when it's the same thing when I'm, because I have health issues. So when I'm not working, I'm not getting paid. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing to me on the days sometimes um, when I'm not making sales. It's just like those times where I was out of work for a week or two because I was down sick. I wasn't getting paid. So that's probably why it's, that's the mentality I had to put when those days where I'm not making sales okay. is just like that. So that's why I try to go hard. Like some days people will notice like, oh, she's posted a lot. She's posting a lot this week. And then I kind of drop off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then I'm posting hard, I'm posting hard. Like it just depends on what's going on. But I think, you know, of course, God, like I said, my family does have a lot to do with it in my community because they speak words of life into me some days because <laughs> let me tell you, some days I'm like, that's it. I'm done. I'm giving up. <laughs> Any business owner that tells you they haven't felt like that, they ain't felt that. They ain't telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> it's just, there's just no way. Cause some days it's just, it's just life in general. Mm -hmm. When you become overwhelmed and when you're trying to do this by yourself for the most part, mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a lot on well, you mentally, physically, even emotionally. Because like you said, those those highs. Oh, my God, orders. Yes, Lord. Then sometimes you get the orders and you're like, okay, I got orders. Let's get them done. And it's like, I hope I get some more orders. But wait, no, I got to finish these. Because then, like, when you're doing handmade stuff, if you're doing it, you're doing everything on a schedule, you know what you got to do and how you got to do it. But sometimes that time management yes. becomes an issue. Or if you, because you work with resin too. So, you know, when you work with resin, that's a little unpredictable. Sometimes you got to do an extra sand in, an extra coat. In, and you're like, I did not plan for you. Okay, <laughs> we're not you. supposed to be having these issues. <laughs> yes. So, definitely. Um, like I said, it, I think that um, a lot of small business owners, just have to remember to keep going. Uh, one of the most important things that people tell me, it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. And especially within the first three years, yeah. it's definitely, just don't give up. Just don't give up. Keep going. Mm -hmm. You can say you're going to give up, but you only get about 15 minute break on that. And then you got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You make it how you might can have a day or two, but after that, everything didn't change. You got you got new trends to keep up with. A new platform was developed. Like <laughs> you got so much that you, you know, you have to do. And like you said, sometimes when you do get in a rhythm, you're like, oh, I can I can do this, I can do that kind of order in one day. And then you get you, you like, oh, okay, I got some time. You procrastinate, and now you're like, oh, this do tomorrow. And you know, so yeah, you, you do have to stay on your time management definitely because you never know when you're going to get an order and sometimes you're like oh I've been slow for a week and then you get that one big order and you're like oh, okay <laughs> I needed that break to prepare me for this <laughs> right so, <Exactly>. yeah. <laughs> so uh before we kind of wrap up here um, I wanted to kind of turn it completely over to you if you had any events coming up for December you want to talk about or if you wanted to showcase any items or anything like that um for December I'm gonna be doing a 12 days of Christmas I have not set in stone a 12 days yet <laughs> um but it's probably gonna be the first 12 days of December that's where my head is because I started planning that out already mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know in November I'm gonna do my own specials but December I want to do 12 days of Christmas where each day I give away something okay. so Right. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> baby. <laughs> of course, I'm going to be doing raffles um, as well. But I want to do 12 days of Christmas. That's so important to me. Um, like I said, I do want to give back because there's so many people like that have supported me. So I'm hoping they win. As I was just saying. <laughs> 
um, January also, I'm going to be um, coming up with, because what you're going to notice is going to start changing with my company as well. There's going to be some themed months coming up okay. um, for the for the 2023 year. There will be some themed months. Mm -hmm. So like one month might be a higher part of month where I'm doing like each week a different cup because my lives are going to um, start being more uh set in stone and how they're gonna go for that week like what cup i'm gonna do you're gonna know ahead of time things like that so i'm looking forward to see how that transitions into the new year <laughs> so i'm already planning for the new year y'all i'm already planning for the new year so um yeah. here's a, just a cup like this is a cup that i'm making right now this is even though it's a redo i love doing redos now if you see something and you want it you know just let me know but <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do spray bottles as well. So okay. yeah, I love doing that and glow in the dark. So yes. This I stole my son's cup back for a second. This is the <laughs> cup. <laughs> oh, that is really nice. So uh, this is glow in the dark. Um I had to steal his cup, my mom. <laughs> so, and then of course, well, this will this will this is one of the shirts now. Let me just stand up. Okay. That is going up on the website. It'll be up by the time this airs. So I'm yeah. So I think this one will be a really good one. Um to oh, add yeah. to the website. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. I mean, if like I said, if you don't see, you can always, always ask me about it. I do stuff for both personal business. I do photo cups as well, which is another thing. So you know, February will be coming up. Sorry about that. No problem. So February will be coming up. So that's Valentine's Day. Get those cute couples, okay. couples and cups together. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like my love of my life. You know okay. what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I love that. And um, you mentioned you have the website, you have Etsy, you have your social media. So you want to let us know your handles on everything. So yeah, I mean, so I know where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> So for my Etsy, it's O Customs. Does that have a shop behind it? I don't know. I don't check that one. But everything is in the link in my bio under my Instagram, which is O Customs underscore. And also my website is www.ocustoms.com. And that's O H C U S T O M S dot com. Um, all my links are also on my website. So at the bottom of the page, all my links to my um website are there it usually takes two weeks for me to make a handmade cup this is the time frame i give one to two weeks mm -hmm. um, around christmas time you might want to get in after you see this because i'm gonna be busy that's yeah. the time I, I, i'm gonna be busy so just that will probably extend it out for the full three weeks before christmas because you know you gotta get everything shipped out beforehand right. so that's important but one to two weeks some you know it's one two weeks that don't mean it won't come earlier so yeah. just always know just ask that's it just ask i love making custom things <laughs> so I, <laughs> I love that and i will make sure guys all of her information is in the description box down below so make sure you guys go down there and check it out make sure you shot with her follow her she does do lives and everything she's very responsive so if you message her she will respond back she's not one of those that don't respond she do respond <laughs> so <laughs> But yes, I do want to thank, take this time to thank you for stopping by the DN and sharing your business with us and giving us all those little bits of information that we so need. Because even as a business owner myself, lots of things you need to network and see how things are going and learn new things all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share this out to whoever you feel may need to hear this. If they have a small business, thinking about starting a small business or have been in business for a long time and just need a refresher. So that's what this video is for. So I love you guys so much. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>